You are a superhero. No, I'm really not. I'm just an ordinary guy. You were an ordinary guy, Alan. That's how most superheroes start out. Mild-mannered, weak links. And that's you. Wow, thanks. Relax, it's all to maximize your transformative arc. If I agree with you, will you leave me alone? Don't be silly, <laughs> we're just getting started. First, we need to figure out what triggered your transformation, your origin story, if you will. Why? Because the origin story is everything. What, there's what, nine Spider-Man movies about it? Yo, we got a lead. We need to come up with a superhero name for Alan. No, no, we really don't. How about Safety Man? No, it's terrible. Well, does he have any other powers? I don't know. We should really run some tests. Um, you said something about a lead. Right, yeah, we've been checking into your inspection history to see if there's somebody you might have pissed off. I think we have a winner. Xantim Labs just hit him with a six-figure fine. Yeah, they're a biopharmaceutical company. I threatened to shut them down after they had a bad chemical spill two days ago. Whoa, a chemical spill? Mystery solved. Exposure to dangerous materials is the most common superhero origin story there is. Oh, uh, sorry, the spill was LAH. It's an inorganic compound used as a catalyst to make other chemicals, which uh, the point is, it can be explosive, but there's nothing about it that would ever turn anyone into a, I don't know, Captain Cool. Mm. No, but keep trying.